kind of want to dye my hair for the EP, maybe at some point, maybe after an EP dye my hair, that could be fun. You know, a little, little switch up, a little change up. Hi, I'm Gail, and these are my first with Anna Emily. Um, the first artist I ever fell in love with was Rita Franklin because, duh, she's amazing and deserves all of the love in the world. The first time I heard Aretha Franklin's music is when I was seven and my mother showed her a compilation of her singing. It was like 15 to 30 minutes long and oh my God, she's so good. I remember I watched her sing like Natural Woman. It was, I mean, it was literally what made me want to do music and like literally dedicate my whole entire life to music. So it was incredible. The first CD I ever bought was a kid's pop, like top 40 pop <laughs> CD. And I remember I literally went home, put it in my CD player, and then I fell asleep to kid's pop singing. And it just kept playing. I probably took a nap for like, it was like a two or three hour nap. And it just kept continuously playing. And it was a great time. And I always wanted to be in kid's pop, but kid's pop didn't want to be with me, so. It's unfortunate, but I, I love it from afar. <laughs> My favorite song on that album, I think Girl on Fire was on it. This girl is on fire. Like it was so good. I listened to that so many times. It's so embarrassing. The first tattoo I ever got was this, this little guy. It's a smiley face and a frowny face at the same time. And I got it because there's so many things to be sad about. Like there's so many things that could instantly like put me in a bad mood, but there's also like so many things that I have the possibility to be happy about. And sometimes happiness is a choice. And this is a reminder that sometimes I just need to choose to be happy because there's so many things to be sad about. And sometimes just, you just gotta say, you know what? I'm just gonna be happy in spite of all of those things. I got this tattoo after ABC hit a million streams because my mom said if it got 100 million streams, I could get a tattoo. And then once I hit a million, I was like, come on, come on. Especially cause like getting to a million was so like, it was so exciting. And I was like, okay, we did that. That like was really hard. So I want a tattoo, please. And she was like, okay. Um, but I'm actually gonna be getting another one that's actually gonna like say ABC on it that I'm really excited about, but yeah, I got this tattoo because one, I thought it was cool and it was just like a nice little reminder to be happy and also to celebrate ABC hitting a million streams. Uh, the first concert I ever went to was Aretha Franklin and it was awesome. Um, nobody knew that I like actually knew who Aretha Franklin was and it made me so mad because everybody was like, oh, did your mom drag you out to this Aretha concert? And I was like, not actually, because I was 10 and didn't know what curse words were. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know where I saw her. It was in this place in Texas that was absolutely beautiful. There's a chandelier on the ceiling and like when they perform, it comes down and it was really beautiful. I don't remember where, and if I had an easy way to pull it up, I would, but it was an amazing experience. <laughs> The first song I ever finished writing was called Carousel. And it was about my best friend who cheated on, no, it was about a guy I was dating who cheated on me with my best friend. But like, I was super dramatic. Like she definitely wasn't my best friend, but I was just like, she was my best friend after they started dating, you know? I think I was like, I was like nine or something. So the drama was like at an all time peak. <laughs> My first one was when I was seven, seven or eight actually. And I remember I wore a white dress that had sequins like all over it and it was super poofy. And I was wearing white tights and black like ballerina shoes. And it was super sparkly because my nickname when I was younger was Sparkle. I just loved anything that had sequins on it and anything that sparkled. And um, I sang Let It Be, but I did the Aretha Franklin version because of course, and um, yeah, it was like a parent, conf not conference, but it was like one of those things where like only like I was going to this vocal studio and like only the parents who were like kids were there at the vocal studio. Like they had this big like uh, recital that everybody went to and that was like my first show. The first, oh, when 
I want to do with my EP is perform it out. That'd be a lot of fun. I also kind of want to dye my hair for the EP, maybe at some point, maybe after an EP dye my hair, that could be fun. You know, a little, little switch up, a little change up. Um, but I'm just really excited to just like put out music and have it be out in the world and show all of the perspectives that I had that like with ABC of me being like really pissed off and um, with other songs of me just being like madly in love with somebody and talking about my insecurities and mistakes and decisions that I've made and um, just kind of my perspective on the human experience and yeah I mean I'm just super excited about all of it. Mm -hmm.